Oh, yeah. Check the shit. Oh, fantastic. Already got some cunts. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That that's 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 exactly the hotness. And just make sure that all the stuff here is good, and then we'll do this. Uh, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, yeah, that seems good. Ah, Jesus, it's actually funny how uh, Justin Roiland does that. Um, hold up, I'll be I'll be right right back. Hold up. Ah, there you go. Okay, yeah, the way he does that is that he drinks cheap beer and then he um, says his lines while drinking cheap beer, which I find hysterical, but I still have watched every episode three, four, maybe five times. So, uh, this, is, uh, this is just a little bit of a Q&A that I want to do, just a standard end of the week bullshit and talk a little bit about the thing that I've hyped a little bit too much, uh, I think, but, you know, just answer some questions about that uh, because I think some people had... Some fat questions on that. Oh, shit. So, as far as that is concerned, um, so, wait, hold up. Let me actually check this off here. Um, let me, there you go. That's actually good. So, let me look through the uh, questions that were in the actual video of the last trick, and then uh, let me answer those. So, somebody says, uh, Borian Haria, look, I can't even pronounce your name, oh, but you said... Hey, pig cake, for a farm, you should have kept it clean and have a lot of doors. Anyway, for the ACAN part, is it the same as your other ACAN release or something different? So, persistence in memory includes ACAN or are they dependent? Cheers, pig cunt. So, uh, just to answer the question, the any card or any number that's in the persistence of memory project is different to the any card or any number that's separate. Those are two different methods and uh, two different kind of ideologies. The one in the persistence of memory project, uh, you're touching a deck more. Uh, it's more of a hands-on thing. Um, it's not the spectator touching the cards. Not to say that you're not touching the cards in the other any card or any number method, but certainly the memory is that you've supposedly never touched the cards. So they're two separate any cards or any number. They're not uh, They're not the same. So one is more of a uh, standalone any card or any number that could just kind of stand on its own. And the one that's in persistence of memory is one that's kind of um, conducive of the whole memory plot. So... It's an old method, but uh, what I am offering is the the addition to the memory idea. Because the first trick is kind of the establishment that you could do the whole memory thing, that you can memorize the deck. Then you're giving that to the spectator, so they could do an any card, any number, you know, supposedly after they've memorized the deck. And then at the end, um, the last phase is the, the memory wipe stuff. So the any card, any number from that one and from uh, the one that I've already put out, they're two very different methods. So uh, that's hot. Uh, somebody dropped a hot, hot ten dollars here. Sent a read that or ten. Uh, what what uh, currency is that? Is that un-American currency? Is that what that is? F uh, thank you, Sent a read. Uh, I've been good. I've been good. Uh, my penis is still uh, has that little bit of a red thing on it, but you know that's the doctor says that that's uh, that's apparently my penis. So I'm good. Uh, so yeah, that's one question that I got from uh, the actual original video. Then there was another question, same thing, saying this version of ACAN is the same as the other one. No, it's not. Uh, it's a different. Uh, it's a different me um, any card any number. Then somebody says uh, that I stole iDub's format in the Evan Error uh, Exposed video. Yeah, I know. That's the point. I said I was gonna steal that format. Um, holy shit! I thought Evan Error kidnapped you. No, if Evan Error kidnapped me, I would be. Um, I'd probably be eaten. Uh, I'd, I'd probably be 
eaten uh, mother motherfucker um so those are two hot questions that i got on that uh now as far as the, what the actual encryptions were uh because i know a lot of people spent quite a bit of time which makes me think that most of the people that watch my stuff are autistic but i appreciate that uh, a lot of people spend time trying to uh, decode those so uh the title was cunt i mean obviously some people figured that out uh from the first one but the title was cunt cunt and i think cunts on the last one so that's pretty much that uh what it said in the description um was just to leave a hashtag saying you know a pig alert or whatever pig pig dick or something on the uh, comments that was the first video the second video uh it said for you not to ruin it and show people how smart you are just leave hashtag pigu in the comments and um you know if, if you deciphered it and two people deciphered it uh which i should give them i should give them a fat yeah meat blanket uh you, you're the one that got that i should give you a should i give you a discount should i should give you a fat discount for that, maybe. Um, but yeah, Pegu, you're the only one that figured it out because uh, I said in the last live stream that it took me two seconds to do it on YouTube or on Google, uh, just a quick Google search on how to encrypt it. So it's not, it really didn't take me that time to, uh, to figure that out. And then this last one, obviously, it also took me a little bit. Uh, it took me like less than a minute to encrypt it, you know, using a website. And the key for it was cunts. So if you just encrypted it with the key uh, being cunts, you would have figured out what I said. So that you know that that kind of it's really it, it was just cunt it wasn't anything important people thought <laughs> hey piggy are you was it that you were gonna show your face yeah it wasn't you know it's it's um it was a joke for me uh it was a dirty joke so that's that's uh, one thing that i wanted to um to uh to say that the encryptions pretty much were just uh some stupid hashtags which i found hysterical that people did uh and actually took the time to de de-encrypt them or decrypt them uh, let me see what uh, I have here. Uh, do you know an Aiken with a forced palm card by Andreas Schechelner? I can't even pronounce that correctly. Uh, yeah, let me, but I mean, if you're going to Aiken with a palm card, I mean, if you're doing that, then they're just dealing cards onto your hand and you have a card palmed. This is a double back, son of a bitch. You have a card palmed, I imagine, right? And they're dealing cards onto your other hand. And then you say, oh, you could have stopped anywhere. Uh, how about you? Did you see that? I don't understand what the question is there. But you're saying, how do you know? Uh, do you know an A-can with a forced palm card? I don't like the palm cards um, for the that method. If I'm doing it any card at any number, I'm not going to palm the card because um, the heat is on. I feel like the heat is on the... Uh, the heat's on the... the trick so if you're palming a card and then they've dealt the cards to your hand you know whatever supposed number they dealt to the heat is on so if you're going to palm the card and replace it you know it's not really going to be uh, a good time to do that uh, palm and replacement some people can do it i prefer to use hot subtlety um hot cunt subtlety santa reed have a diet coke on me damn man are you reading my mind here is this what's happening is this let me let me drop a, a hot burp here I can't. Uh, yeah, Andres, I'm sorry I couldn't answer your question better, but I just don't understand. I wouldn't use a palm for an any card any number, but I hope that answered your question. Uh, why not just I can or A can with a chase deck? Uh, well, the thing that I like is not having to have a, spe a special deck set up for an any card any number uh, just to do that trick or, to, you know, just to have a, a, a deck set up in general. I just like uh, having the spectator mix the cards up, shuffle them up, and then uh, go from there. So if I have to have a deck just set up ready uh, in chased order or in some sort of order just to do that, I wouldn't do it. I'm not going to go and set the deck up. You know, most of the decks that I get, I'll mix them up, I'll shuffle them. Uh, very seldom would I have them in some sort of setup already. Um, but, you know, if that's your thing, I just don't like those. I know that there's a lot of good methods uh, using memorized decks, obviously the easiest methods. Uh, use memorized decks uh, apart from the memory of the deck you know assuming that you do have a good memorization of the deck um, it's really good for you to know the, lo the location uh, so then you could displace the cards but I'm not a fan of that uh, I rather use subtlety so on the any card or any number that I'm selling separately um, that one is more of a you know subtlety thing for those the people that have gotten it uh, it's more of a subtlety thing where the spectators kind of hopefully misremember uh, certain things uh, and the a can that's in the persistence of memory you're touching the cards it's you know i'm not going to say the method but it's it's a classic method um but it's more the pattern that's uh that i think is the the, the hot value there so 
Yeah, but I mean, I've I've seen a there are fucking dude uh, the amount of any cards of any numbers that are in my fucking stupid pig head is unbelievable. I was thinking actually, just to give you foresight, uh, because I've actually mentioned persistence of memory in one of the previous live streams. I, I said that that would be my next little project. Uh, just to give you a little bit of a heads up, I'm not coming out for project anytime soon, but the next one would probably be a compilation of any card or any numbers uh, because I'm so obsessed with the method and the idea behind it. You know, I have all these stupid methods in my head. Why not just put a compilation down? So that's probably going to be uh, my next project is going to be uh, an any card or any number thing. Um, and the, I mean, the honestly, the best one that I have is... It's a tie between the, the one that I'm selling, obviously, and the one that I've put on the channel. Uh, even though this move, obviously, is a variation of the, uh, the Shinobi control, uh, that method is by far my favorite way of doing the any card, any number. Um, because it's just anytime, anywhere, it's simple. It, you know, it's, it's an easy method once you get it, once you get the hang of it. And it, they could be burning your hands, and it just looks like you're turning that card over. That one is on the channel. Uh, I think that's the first a any card, any number that I taught. Um, so, you know, that's an impromptu anytime, anywhere you could do that. Uh, so it's a tie between that method and the, the one that I have uh, separate. So I might just do a whole compilation on any card, any number. Let me see some other hot questions. Um, if you sold uh, 200 copies, by t if I sold 200 copies, I'd be fucking throwing a party, dog. Uh, I mean, I've sold good. The, the, the numbers are good in terms of sales. Um, I'm just glad that I'm kind of in a position now where I could like sell something, like have a product. When I was younger, I would always look up to like, every time I would buy a product on like Penguin or something, I'd be like, damn man, I wanna make a fucking DVD. But of course I was a dumb pig cunt. I didn't know how I could go about and do that. Now, you know, everything's easily available. And the website that I'm using for that, I think is really good because it allows you to break down each, um, you do lose the fact that it's the download aspect of it. You do lose that, but it does break down each and every single little thing. Um, you know, so the first trick uses, I think, three or four slides. Uh, the intro is uh, going through all those slides, how to do them, uh, little tips on those, and then it's the explanation. So I really like the way the website is uh, laid out. Uh, let me look through some more questions here. Sex, do a, a sexy revolution cut. Um, there you go. It's, it's shit. Uh, I've actually, because you're supposed to do it this way where you bring up the, the finger, right? I actually learned it wrong my entire life because uh, I could not get the move down. I could not get the revolution cut down for the life of me. But then one day my hands just went to the right position and I just did it. And I'm like, what the fuck did that come from? Um, so I learned it wrong. I used to do this. Like it used to, I, I didn't know where to put my fingers. Now I could, now I know exactly where to put my fingers to do the revolution cut. But before I'd get to this point and then I'd end up like this. I'd end up like this and I'm like, where the fuck is my father? Uh, so I, I, you know, the revolution cuts more of one of these knacky things. Uh, Brian Tudor, I'd suck his penis. He's a, he's definitely a hot one. Uh, let me look through these. Uh, where do you buy your rings at? That's a secret. Um, let me see some other shit. Can you do a riffle fan? I cannot do a riffle fan. Uh, how many people bought your new trick? I just got back to my house, so I haven't uh, checked how many people bought it. But I do get like a little notification, so I can see a couple. Uh, a couple times my phone's rang, um, which is fucking great. You know, I'm glad uh, people are getting it. It's a, it's a really good, it's a good method. It's a, uh, it's, it's impromptu. It's like one of these. And of course I'm biased because I'm selling it, but uh, I, I don't like tricks that require lots of setup. I really don't. My favorite tricks are the ones that it's a deck uh, and you can do whatever you want. And this, what I'm selling is kind of a little act because it's, um, it's this whole premise of memory. And you know, you showing that you have this amazing memory and then uh, doing an any card or any number based on memory and then finally having uh, the memory wiped from them. So you know, the idea of a card, uh, which has always been great. I remember Jay Sankey had a bit with shapes. He used the out to lunch principle and then he had shapes and he would show four shapes to a spectator, then do a switch, uh, show the same card to a bunch of spectators, but this time it had three shapes. And then, you know, to, um, it was, a, it was a weird out to lunch method if I, I'm probably remembering it wrong, but it was fucking great uh, because it's not necessarily one of those like, oh shit, like, you know, those uh, David Blaine moments where there are certain people of a, of, um, of a certain color uh, that are running off because those are the best reactions you get. Uh, it's not those. It's more of like, a, what the fuck? How did I, I saw the card. 
I don't know. Yeah, it's this weird moment that they have where they forget the card. It's fucking weird. Uh, but it's not one of those uh, moments that people are running off uh, into the distance going, oh, shit. How could you wipe some? It's not wiping someone's memory. It's the perception of it. The original trick, uh, the first time I saw it was Luke Germay. Uh Luke Germay did it where he would show somebody a card and then uh, show the audience a card and then go through this process where the spectators made to forget the card. Uh, that's the first time I saw that. Um, the part, uh, who, somebody asked me here. Somebody asked me, hold up, what did you ask me? You said, oh, how could you wipe somebody's memory? It's, it's more of creating the subtlety that the memory of the playing card is gone. Obviously, you're not, um, you're not, uh, you're not wiping in a memory. You're, you're trying to create the perception and create the illusion that the memory is gone from their head. Uh, so the method that I have in this project is a combination of a couple ideas from Luke Germay, from, um, what's his name, uh, James Brown. Not the singer, he's the, the mentalist, uh, James Brown. Uh, there's a couple ideas there from a project I saw years and years and years ago. It was like a, a penguin release. Um, but a whole bunch of ideas combined into one uh, that not 100%, uh, it's not 100%, but you still get an amazing effect, uh, you know, 90, 90% of the time if you play it right. Uh, but that's that's one of my favorite things because it's not it's not like a dual reality bit where two things are happening at the same time. It's more of a, of a false memory sort of thing. It's it's I've always liked that idea. Um, so I I don't know if that answered your question. Somebody said, "What's your go-to impromptu card trick?" Uh, Back in time by Jay Sankey. That's my favorite. Anytime, anywhere. Somebody borrows a deck, or you borrow a deck. That whole shit card trick. Uh, and Back in time by Jay Sankey. That's my favorite one. I don't know why I just saw like mixing that shit. Uh, let me go back here. See if there's any hot questions here. Throw cards at fat people. I don't have any fat people here, so unfortunately, I can't throw cards at fat people. Uh, Aaron Feldman, you said, I'm confused how to make somebody forget a card. Well, it's an old plot. It's an old plot of trying to get somebody to apparently forget a thought. Uh, this is just my interpretation of doing it with a playing card. So again, it's nothing new. It's a combination of ideas. Uh, I just want to stress that it's, you know, it's, I, I keep mentioning it, that we're standing on the shoulders of fucking giants. Um, so it's just a combination of ideas that have worked for me, uh, you know, whenever I've had the opportunity to perform those. And uh, I just like that concept of having a spectator forget, uh, forget something or apparently forget something. Remember, it's, it, you're creating an illusion that the spectator's forgotten a playing card. Uh, can you suggest the fastest way to get into Stice Stevens? I put that on my, I put that on Twitter. I put that on Twitter. That is a marker stain, by the way, cunt. That's a marker. That's not a weird mole that I've grown. Uh, but the size stabbings, I taught a way to do it. Uh, there's a quick way to do it from new deck order uh, where you don't even have to think. You just set the deck up. Um, I think you set, I put it on Twitter a long time ago, but you set the deck up in chased, so club, heart, spade, diamond, and then you cut to the three, right? You cut to the six, you cut to the nine, and then you cut to the queen, and then you just pick the cards up like that, and then that sets you up into size stabbings. Uh, fast as fuck without even thinking. So get the deck in, not, add a, it's not new deck order necessarily, it's um, it's king th ace through king, so it's ace through king, just like that, and then they'll set you up in size stabbings. I I taught that on Twitter. Uh, oh yeah, so chase orders, clubs, hearts, spade, diamonds. You stack it. For example, four, seven, ten. Yeah, exactly. So you you have you separate the different suits. Uh, I'm not doing it here because this deck is not new deck order. But for example, here you have all the clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds, right? If you're doing it by threes. Uh, here you cut to the three, right? Here you cut to the six. This would be the heart. This would be the spade. You cut to the uh, the three, six, nine. And then here you cut to the queen. And then you just pick the cards up like this. And when you're done, uh, the deck is going to be in size stabbings. So that way you don't have to think. You don't have to like, I know it's stupid calculations. There's only three. But this sets you, uh, saves you the time of finding the individual cards. Uh, so that's the fastest way to get into size stabbings. Somebody asked me. Um, who asked me? Who asked me that? Somebody asked me. Uh, new deck? I don't know. Okay, hold on. Let me go back because I know that there's a lot of comments here, but let me go back to the uh, older ones because I know I've been glossing over them. Uh, is there a magic trick to get your father back from the store? Unfortunately not. Uh, once your father's gone, he's gone. Um, that's why this is still not checked off. So, uh, Your mom is my girlfriend. Uh, okay, that's, a, that's gay, dude. That's just gay. Uh, I already answered that. Uh, it's back in time by Jay Sankey. 
Let me see. Uh, throw cards at fat people. I already talked about that. Fat people deserve to get cards thrown out of. Are you an ASM artist or you just enjoy the piss out of it? ASM artist. I really hope that's not like a term they use. Fuck. Really hope that's not a, ter a term they use. Uh, who was that woman in the ACAN video? You respected her. Did I? Did I? Did I come off as respecting her in that video? I thought I was using her for her hands uh, there. Um, I didn't think that I was respecting her. I thought I was using her for the fact that she was another body that I could show a card trick to on camera. Uh, Pig Cake reminds me of how to basic. Only difference is how to basic knew how to keep his mouth shut for a whole video. Thank you, Therion Kane. The only cool thing about you is your last name because it reminds me of the fucking demon Kane. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so, uh, you know what? Funny enough, when I started this channel, people would say, dude, you're just doing how to basic. I didn't know who how to basic was. And then I looked up uh, who he was, and I'm like, I guess. I mean, I could see it. Not as much, um, but, you know, similar enough. Uh, have you seen the Prime Shadow Spring? Yeah, I saw it. I've seen it. I don't know how to do it, but I've seen it. Uh, let me see. Favorite race? My favorite race? Uh, probably Asian, since they're going to take over the planet anyways. They're definitely my favorite race. Let me charge this. Fucking phone. Uh, but yeah, definitely Asians are my favorite. And they all have blurred pussies. I don't know if you guys know that. If you ever have the opportunity to be with a uh, Asian person, their vaginas are blurry. It's the weirdest uh, thing. I don't understand why nobody's taking that to James Randi uh, and won those million dollars uh, to show them that he has a, uh, that they have blurry pussies. Uh, hit a like if you like blurry pussies. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh... Let me see. Can I do the spring? That's funny. People are shitting on me for my spring. Uh, I, let me just fucking say that. I know, obviously, the different methods of the spring. You know, there's the thumb release and there's a the finger release. Most people like the thumb release because it makes a pleasant sound. It looks good on video. I like releasing it from here because it makes a loud sound that gets attention. I rather get attention uh, and still have a nice enough looking spring than make it look flourishy on camera. If you're doing this move, uh, I first remember there's a routine that Jay Sankey does uh, called, I forgot, but it's like an opener uh, where he does a spring followed by this uh, Mattioli cut, uh, this weird Mattioli cut. Uh, and he does that. Let me turn this up here. There you go. Uh, so he does this cut as an opener. Uh, and then a butterfly cut to establish the fact that he knows how to handle a deck of cards. In that, he does a spring um, to get their attention. So I've taken that idea from that. Uh, pretty much is using a spring, not just as a flourish, but as a way to get people to say, oh, this guy knows how to handle cards. So there, for whoever gave me shit for that spring video, motherfuckers. Uh... Do you know how to do raise rise? I don't. Uh, Xavier Spade does it, and I know that I, he's obviously uh, done it on live stream. I, uh, every time I see him do it, I jizz a little. And every time I see anybody do it, I jizz a little. It's a fucking crazy move. Mm. How's the Inspire deck? Uh, it's great. I actually have a review that I've, um, I'm probably going to do next week. Uh, I already have it set up unlisted uh but i say in the review all the stuff that i feel about it it's a fucking great deck it's really a good deck i love minimal stuff i love this minimal shit that there's only two spokes on it uh the marking system is phenomenal i it, on uh, not to show patreon but on patreon i went over a marking system i'll just say it it's uh you're mar you're pretty much just writing the card on the, the bicycle cards it works really really good on bicycle cards my favorite system bar none was uh david blaine's mark deck the one that he sold on like cvs stores and shit that was using the boris wild system that was fucking phenomenal it's just literally you look at the card right here and you know the you know the card here the marking system is a little bit more di it's a little bit different obviously it's dependent on the spokes of the wheel um and there's another marking system that uh, he hasn't explained in the advertising, which is why I'm not going to explain it. But here the marking system is on the spokes of the wheel. And it's very clear. Um, it's very, very clear. So you can read the cards out pretty quickly, like three of hearts uh, here. Um, let me test myself here. There's a six of clubs. 
So uh, the only thing that I don't like about the marking system here, for example, uh, I, f I don't know what this one is, fuck, uh, is that you're looking, your eyes are looking at two different spots. That's one issue that I have with marked decks is that a lot of times uh, your eyes have to look at two individual spots. What I love about the Boris Wild deck is that you look at one fucking spot and that's it. You already know the entire identity of the card and there's no question about it because in the, the card is actually written there. It's hidden into the design. Uh, and this one, obviously, it's more hidden. I thought it would have been dope as fuck if he would have written the actual card here. Or, for example, uh, if it's like, if it says follow your dreams, but maybe the U and the R, you know, or if it says AS, like Ace of Spades. You know, I don't think people would notice that. Uh, spectators would notice that. But then you could just look at the card right there and know what the card is. Uh, the marking system still on this deck is really, really nice. The cards handle very well. Uh, they have a very good stock. So I enjoy these very, very much. And the fact is that they're cheap as shit. Uh, they're like six bucks a deck. And for a marked deck of cards, you don't see that. Uh, for a marked deck of, you know, good quality, you don't see that shit often. Uh, they're usually, you know, between 20 and 40 bucks. Um, but uh, these are really, really good. So whoever asked me about the Inspire cards, who asked me, who asked me, who asked me? Fuck, I forgot somebody asked me. Uh, somebody says, hello, my sexy Trump supporters. That, uh, that's happening. Uh, these cards are the Inspire cards by Alex Pandrea. These are the Inspire cards. I really like minimal cards. That's what I'm tr uh, I want to kind of establish. I love minimal cards. When I come out with my deck, uh, hopefully, you know, next year, maybe sometime, I do want it to make it as minimal as possible. Uh, so I don't like these overblown patterns. I talk about that in a review, that these patterns that are even the... I love the feel of bicycle cards, don't get me wrong. Uh, this is an old ass deck. Uh, I love the feel of bicycle cards. I love the availability. I love that it's a good quality deck for relatively cheap. What I don't like is the design. The design I feel is too busy. Something like this is beautiful because it's just two fucking things on a card. Here, there's a lot going on. Um, but for marking, hey, that's a hot tip I dropped on Patreon. Uh, the markings on these. You could just do it for marker. Uh, so yeah, so that's whoever asked me about cards. Uh, thanks, pig. I was thinking of ordering a brick. You're not gonna do wrong ordering a brick. The only th problem with ordering a brick that I noticed is that the brick is like, I forgot how much it is, but they add like 20 bucks shipping. I was like, motherfucker, <laughs> fucking 20 bucks shipping just for the brick. Uh, but I guess it makes sense because the packaging needs to be bigger. Um, the it's on Blue Crown, Blue Crown Magic. Would you ever go to Vegas and participate in Magic Live? Uh, I would, but I, I'd be anonymous. I wouldn't, I wouldn't I'd say, hey guys, I'm PK. I wouldn't say that. I just fucking, I just walk around, see the shows, see the stuff. Um, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't do it. If you make your own deck, would you put a blank card and a double back card? Probably not. I don't see the point. I mean, the only trick that I have on the channel that's the uh, double back card is the, um, what do you call this? Uh, Motherfucker, um, it's like the double back routine that I put on the channel. Uh, that one's my favorite, but I don't think it'd be, I don't think it's uh, worth it to have a, a double back card just for that. So I don't know. It depends. It also depends on money. Uh, do you know Barry Richardson's impromptu I can? Yeah, it's the best fucking A can. <laughs> That's bar none. That method is the the best fucking method. What do you like better, A can or gay can? A can or gay can? I like gay can uh, better because it involves a dick in your ass. Uh, that's my favorite kind of trick. Uh, thoughts on Art Fist th Tundra cards? Again, I'm not a big fan of cards that are busy. I don't know if those are, have a busy back uh, or those are, you know, those whole... Th but I really like just minimal cards. Uh, people would recognize me? No, I don't think people would recognize me. Not at all. Unless I'm wearing like, because um, my, my plan uh, for 100K, like when I get to 100K, not to say that I will, um, but I will because my dick's big, is uh, I want to go to California to where Illusionist ships cards and I want to make a video there challenging them. Even though uh, I know that none of them are there, you know, it's just a warehouse, I want to go there and, cha and challenge the strongest to a wrestling match. I'll be wearing a pig mask, like a, a, a wrestling mask that looks like a pig. I do that, so uh, that's that's what I want to do for 100k. So that's that's kind of my um, my thing. Madison Rounders, yeah, I love those. Those are fucking amazing. 
let me see some other stuff here. With the rings, they probably will. Have you seen Chris Mayhew eye candy? Yeah, yeah. I remember uh, that trick came out years ago. Uh, I, I like the ingenuity of the method, but I don't like the complicated. Because that trick requires a little bit of a setup. I love the thought process behind a trick. I love the fact that it's, uh, you could just, the, the concept of the card being reversed. It's a great method. But I, I just don't like the, uh, the setup and I don't like that I could be wrong. Because I feel like that trick, you could be wrong. Um, I, I like a method that's solid that you don't have to uh, fuck around with. Jakuba uh, said, DMC Elites. I fucking love the Elites. They're phenomenal. Um, the Elites are great. Uh, for the reason that... Uh, let me see if I have a deck here. I'll tell you right now. Hold on. I do have a deck here. That are the Elites. The reason they're good... I don't have them anywhere near me. Uh, but the reason I like the DMC Elites is because the marking is fucking that big. The marking is literally that big. You can't miss it. Uh, but it's hidden into the design. It's a fucking perfect marking system. The only problem, again, is that the deck are 20 bucks a deck. So they're not a deck that you're going to run through, um, you know, like, like anything. Uh, if they were 10 bucks a deck, fuck, I would have bought like you know, 100 of those motherfuckers. But uh, unfortunately, they're a little bit on the expensive side. But the markings are pristine on those motherfuckers. Uh, let me see some other shit. Let me see some other shit here. Uh, could you go over any more routines with double backers and double facers since every deck comes with it? Yeah, I have two tricks on the channel um, that involve a double backer. And if you look up double backer pick cake, I think you should be able to see my shit there. Uh, one is uh, obviously the title of the trick is like a lie. It says greatest card trick ever. And I, you know, I'm oh, hey, I'm going to do a card trick here. Oh my God. And then uh, it does a, I, I go into a double backer trick. That one is great, especially because uh, there's like a subtlety there. Uh, that's this sort of ploy. That you're showing the cards like this. Uh, I remember seeing that in a Michael Marr business card uh, tape. And uh, I, I like that method. So you can look those up on the channel. Yeah, man. The shipping is a lot. Uh, the shipping is fucking expensive on, on, I, I, on these especially. They're very expensive uh, for the brick. For me, I, I only bought five. I didn't think I needed a brick. So I only bought five of these. Uh, the shipping was all right. But um, the, yeah, the, the thing is fucking expensive as shit. Have you seen Paul Gertner's card trick on Foolis? Yeah, fucking phenomenal. You saw that he was shaking a little bit. Uh, I found that crazy. He, his hands were shaking a little bit, and he still did four or five perfect ferals to do that fucking trick. God, that guy's a G. I bought the new trick, and I recommend it to everyone. Hey, thank you, dog. I appreciate it. Steven Zerdak. Zerdarik. Uh, if you, I mean, I'm not... I'm, I didn't, pushing this here but if you want to leave a review i welcome reviews so if you want to leave a hot review on the website i gladly appreciate it uh I, again the reason i like that that uh routine in particular is because it's it's just a borrowed deck you have a little act that you could do um when you uh you have a little act you could do anytime anywhere that there's a deck and you know if you have time obviously uh what i mentioned in the demo about it being modular uh, is that, you know, you could just do any part of it. You don't have to do the whole thing as a set. You could just do the, the opener, for example, if you want to do that. You could just do the any card, any number if you want. You could still integrate the, the plot of the memory, um, but uh, they work best as a routine. So um, I remember years ago, uh, Paul Wilson released a PDF, or he released something uh, that had a four-trick borrowed deck act uh, I remember just reading the description. I didn't necessarily buy it. I just read the description. One of the tricks there was Jamfican, uh, which is his uh, any card, any number. And I just love that concept of having an act that you could do with a borrowed shuffle deck of cards. That the deck is uh, obviously you're not going to be in a situation all the time where you could do a borrowed deck shit. But the fact that you can have just an ordinary deck and have a routine that you could just get into at any time. Uh, that's relatively easy. The, the methodology to the stuff is really not that hard. So, um, you know, that's, that's just something, obviously me shilling this uh, Persistence of Memory project, but um, the methodology is not hard at all in any of the routines or any of the individual aspects of it. And it just comes together really, really nicely. So I'm, you know, I'm pretty proud of the way that shit's come together. Uh, let me see some other shits. Will there be related content to your new trick or ACAN on Patreon? Show us some love too. Yeah, I, I put a message on uh, Patreon about that. So you should check that out, dog. I put a message there. 
uh, which ACAN on your channel is the best one that you like the best? I already said uh, it's a combination of the one that's on the pig, uh, pigcake.me, uh, that one, the individual one, and the combination of the uh, the one with the disc control, with the any card, any number uh, switch. I like both of those equally. Uh, this one, obviously, you're, you're touching the cards. It's hands-on. The other one is more hands-off, so that's, you know, that you might like that better. Uh, but this one, I like that. I like that method. Uh, let me see. You should do a full pig cake series where people try to send you videos of their tricks and then try to fool you. I don't think I have the patience for that. I don't think I'd have the patience for that, dog. Uh, ouch. I don't think I have the patience for that because imagine people are just sending me videos and it's just like, hey, dude, I got a trick for you. I got a trick for you. You're not going to figure this out. You're not going to figure this out. And then that's the end of the video. But it's like, it's, it's like that, that it's fucking filmed like that. So I don't know if I'd have the patience for that, dog. Uh, KK, buy sweat love. That's weird. Uh, my views on Brian Brushard, I love him. Uh, I think he should bring the spikes back. Uh, I would murder uh, a small monkey just to have the opportunity to work at, uh, to, to have work with him, Brian Brushwood. Let's see, some other shits. There's some hot stuff here. Uh, let me go through the old ones. Favorite deck, I already talked about it. I love bicycle, I love anything minimal. Uh, favorite race, I already mentioned that. It was Asians. Um, Pig K, could you do a, a kick flip cardistry move? No. You can't do that shit. Just to show you how uh, uh, far back I am in terms of learning uh, cardistry shit, uh, I'm still trying to learn this move, that move. I'm still trying to learn that uh, within the context of a cut. That's how far back I am. I said that under pressure, which is this move, uh, I just recently learned that. And I recently learned this one too. This shit that you see, I, I need to make a post on Reddit, uh, Cardistry Starter, Instagram Starter Kit. Everyone does this shit. Everyone does that shit. Everyone does uh, this bullshit. Everyone does that bullshit where they flip the card that way or they, they do a cut where they have a packet and they do that bullshit. Uh, what else would be on the ins uh, basic starter kit for Magician Cardistry uh, Instagram channel? Uh, obviously the card, this picture right here, that fucking picture with like a backdrop of like, uh, I don't know, like a fucking tropical island or some shit. But yeah, I, that's how far back I am in terms of cardistry shit. Um, I just learned a shit. I mean, again, my opinion on cardistry is it's interesting. I like the way it looks. I respect anybody that does it well. Uh, but in terms of, um, in terms of whether or not to use it in a magical and like a magic routine no i don't think there's any i mean i there's obviously there's obviously a situation that you could use cardistry within the context of a card trick um but it does have to fit your character number one and it also has to make sense uh, the thing that i did if there's one thing that triggers me apart from um fat uh puerto rican nazis uh is that is this thing right here that you have a card selected right the card is uh, control to the top, and then you say, I'm shuffling the cards. I'm going to mix the cards up. And I feel like everyone does the same cut. They do this shit. They do that cut, but they do it like this. They go, I'm going to cut the cards. And then they, when they feel dirty, they, they, they add one of these there, and they feel good about it. But everyone does that. I'm going to mix these cards up. All right. And, uh, okay. Is that your um, nine of diamonds? Okay. Like I, that triggers me. And when somebody's putting a, uh, shuffling a card into the deck and then they do some like weird, like fucking buck twin circumcision cut, I can't stand that. Uh, I think that you should be able to, you know, not you, you keep that away from fucking card tricks, especially if you're trying to do a fooling card trick. You're not going to fool anybody with that. Um, you know, people aren't blind. One of the things that uh, I think one of the realizations I had was doing uh, somebody mentioned, uh, now that somebody mentioned a uh, hot shot cut, right? Uh, somebody mentioned a hot shot cut and I remember doing it for someone a long time ago. You know, I, I cut their card to the bottom, ace of spades, right? I controlled it to the bottom and then I said, I'm going to find your card, uh, right here. Watch, you know, and then I did the hot shot cut, whatever, cut to the card and that's your card. And they're like, that was just the bottom card though. 
because people have eyes. When they see, they see one packet here, they see another packet there, they see the fact that you're only mixing three packets and they're like, you didn't do shit there, did you? You know, they'll, they'll fucking call you out. So there's no reason. If you're gonna have a card, you know, return to the deck, make it look fucking natural. People do this shuffle. People mix cards up like this. People mix cards up like this. You know, fucking drop cards. You don't need to be fucking pristine. But one thing that you shouldn't do is fucking, okay, I'm gonna put your card back. All right, here it goes. And I'm gonna get into Sybil 7, you know, on fucking oxygen or whatever the fuck the Buck Twins called it. There's a time and place for everything. So I just don't think that, uh, exactly, why draw needless attention to it? If you're, for example, if you have a routine where you're, the card, you, for example, let's say you're doing a multiple card find, right? So you have a stack of cards in the top that are cards that, you know, eight people picked and you're trying to reveal them. I would probably insert a little bit of cardistry there, some light cardistry, um, just, you know, the tiniest bit. Uh, but as far as that, like maybe if I'm finding the aces, right? And I'm kind of in a, if my character is kind of like a show off di like dickhead or something and I need to find the aces, right? Um, then I might do some flourishy shit. Like I might do an ace production. Uh, but if I'm going to, uh, let me see if I could do this one that I taught on Patreon. Let me see. How does this look? Uh, I, th I think it's, I actually forgot how to fucking do it. I know that this one's revealed and then, uh, fuck, fuck me with a rusty knife. Something like this and then like this and I fucked it up already. But I thought of an ace production the other day that I thought looked dope as shit. There's so many. And they all start from the same fucking position. But this one was something like this. Like that, that you end up like that. I just forgot the uh, or the cut to it. Uh, is another false cut. You could get into it from my memory like this. Fucking kill me now. And then you do this shit. There you go. That's how to do it. Okay, fuck me. Uh, so yeah, so unless you're like introducing the aces in a way that looks a little bit, uh, you know, fancy, but it goes with your character, um, but that's it. I wouldn't, you know, shuffle a card in the deck with a Sybil cut, for example. But uh, one of the cool things, I forgot who used this as a powder point, but um, it's too gay for me, so I never use it. But if you have a card returned to the deck and you're trying to find a card, um, you know, and you want to use some powder, you can say, oh, you know, I'm shuffling the cards like a Rubik's Cube. Uh, you know, so this kind of does, uh, it gets your card right to the top. Like I'm doing all the Rubik's Cube shit to get your card uh, to the top is it, or some shit. But as long as it justifies it, that's, that's my opinion on that, I guess. Uh, I have a bunch of Ace Productions. I, I have a bunch of Ace Productions that I've come up with. Uh, this is the, I think uh, this is the one that I had Russian Genius do on his channel. If I recall correctly, it was something like, uh, like that. That's the one that I think I gave him. Uh, then there is, if I recall, fuck me, it's something like this, that shit, uh, I have a bunch, I mean, they're all the same shit, you're just fucking shooting out the aces, <laughs> you're just fucking shooting out the aces and looking like a dick, uh, yo pig, thanks for not cursing your trick trailer, you probably, uh, I can probably buy it now because my mom is very conservative, also is there performance of the trick? Uh, I, I mean, I, the thing is that there's always this um, apprehension uh, in terms of putting the full performance on a... Uh, I know that there's a company, What's the, um, they always use this bald guy, the same one that uh, John Bannon has come out with a lot of products with. There's a company, they always have a full performance of one of the tricks on the uh, demo video. Uh, but usually the DVDs are like 12 tricks, so they could, you know, do a performance and that's fine. Uh, for something like for the any card, any number or the persistence of memory, I'm not going to put a full performance because then that's, you know, the, the, the method isn't really hard. Uh, the methods that I use aren't fooling. They're not going to fool anybody. But, um, you know, it's it's kind of that you I'm, I really want to put a full performance, but then I'm also trying to make some make some cash on that motherfucker. So if I put the full performance and that's it. You know, and, uh, you know, the sales are really helping out a lot. So it's kind of like, you know, if, if the description isn't enough, then, you know, you really shouldn't get it. But it's, it's what it is. Uh, I don't want to bullshit with any sort of like fake. One of the things that I fucking hate the most are fake um, or over exaggerated adverts on cards that claim that you'll have fucking Jesus Christ coming out of your dick. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want it to do the exact opposite. So what you see there is what you get. You get three different tricks 
Uh, you get a really, you know, I, I go through the detail really hard, uh, really well. Like I go through all the little details and all the little nuances and uh, that's what you're getting. So that's, that's what I'm offering there. So um, I, I cho choose against putting a full performance just for that reason. Whoever asked me. Uh, thoughts on tactics. I don't know that. I don't know that, uh, whoever that is. Thoughts on C3 by Nojima. I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck that is. Uh, paradigm shift. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. I don't remember how it looks. I guess that's good, right? If you don't remember how pass looks or how shift looks, that's kind of a, uh, um, like a, a good, good tell that it's a good move. Uh, one ahead card tricks. Actually, you know what? I, um, I did that. I did the one ahead uh, trick, I think this week that, uh, make them psychic. That was the title of the trick. That's an old ass method. Um, you know, this whole shit where you have the spectator, you tell the spectator, for example, that, uh, oh, give me the ace of diamonds and they give you this card and then you go, okay, let's see how you did. Good job. Uh, you're really good at this. I'll tell you what, let's try this one more time. Give me the uh, ace of spades this time. They give you this card and you go, hmm, let's see how you did. Great job. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go and reach in here for the uh, nine of hearts. I'm going to reach in here for the nine of hearts. Uh, so uh, see, I did well. I did phenomenal here. Uh, let's see how uh, you also got the Ace of Spades. Great job. Great job. And then uh, the first card, uh, Ace of Diamonds. Good. You did everything well. Good job. You know, that's the original method. Uh, or it, it, The original method didn't use the double list and didn't use the displacement. But it was pretty much that. Uh, where you pick two cards. Or the spectator picks two cards. You pick the last one and then you get them all right. I love being one wrong. Uh, and I think that mistakes as a method is underrated as fuck. Using a mistake uh, as a method of doing a trick or to accomplish something or to do something is a fucking great method that's underrated. Um, so that's one of the things that's really, really underrated. So the trick that I put today or this week is uh, that, that one ahead method. Uh, some people might not like being one wrong. I, I love it. Uh, I fucking love being one wrong because it, it kind of adds uh, credibility. So that's, that's why I like that. You know, it really depends on your personal preference, but... Um, there you fucking go. Uh, that's that's a little hot, hot opinion on that. Uh, opinion on the emoji movie? I didn't watch that because I don't want ca cancer AIDS. I don't want uh, uh, CADES. I don't want to catch CADES and get that. Uh, let me see if there's any comments here. Wow, <laughs> somebody called me a sellout. What a cheap sellout gay cunt you are. That's phenomenal. I I love the uh the I got some sh I got some shit dogs. If y'all if y'all weren't aware of that, these piggy alerts, um, I got some shit by because uh, I I made a mention. If you guys noticed, I made a mention of reaction channels, and I use a, a screenshot of of Eduardo Todor, um, who's been popping up, you know, doing all these uh, reactions to certain tricks, and I made a mention, and then he made a uh, response video to me, and uh, I I loved it. I fucking loved it. You know, the guy made great points. Um, he, he was pretty much saying that, you know, his, ch his channel obviously is Credence. But again, my thing is that I, I come from a humor side. I come from just the, you know, parody humor side. Uh, we talked and then, you know, he's a fucking great, great fucking guy, which I really enjoyed. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, people take shit too seriously. I love parody. I love people. If, if somebody fucking, you know, drops a video where they're throwing an egg and then saying, yeah, this is your style, dude, that's fucking hysterical to me. Uh, so he made he made some really really good points. Uh, but one thing that I did kind of piss me off were the, some comments about you know me uh, like doing exposure videos or me exposing magic and then not crediting. Fuck that, you fucking dumb motherfucker. You know, uh, not not him. I'm saying the comments. Fuck. Some of those comments were just fucking straight up stupid about that. Uh, he's a super sweet guy, and uh, you know I I really think that there is merit to that idea. Now, my thing is that my, my take on reaction channels is, you know, it doesn't change. Reaction channels are reaction channels. You know, they put their little box and that's it. But I think in terms of magic, it's, it's a really interesting idea because uh, you often don't get the perspective of an actual person that does magic uh, on one of those videos. Uh, you don't often get like a perspective of a magician. For example, somebody puts, you see a thousand any uh, America's Got Talent video exposed videos you see a thousand of those uh but to actually see one that's not an exposure video and that's someone's actual general opinion on it i think that's interesting 
Um, but yeah, I just, I, I didn't like some of the comments that I was reading there because it was just fucking dead wrong saying that I don't credit. I, dude, if there's one thing I fucking do is I credit everyone. I fucking always say that and I always do it. And if I don't credit somebody, then, you know, I'll change it after the fact. But I, I always try to credit. I don't want to establish a precedent where people are like, oh yeah, this guy's just doing tricks, you know, that he's exposing shit. I think there's a clear difference between tutorials and exposure, exposure videos. Tutorials are what I do, or at least what I think I do, which I'm showing methods that have, you know, that are variations of tricks that obviously are tricks that I've been in magic, you know, for fucking years, tricks that I've, you know, learned in my life, uh, things that I've adapted to suit my own needs, and I'm teaching you how to do those tricks. I'm not going out of the way to find somebody by a download to watch somebody in America's Got Talent and expose their methods. Those are their methods. What I'm showing you are my methods. You know, and if they're not my methods, if they're, you know, if there's somebody's thing, I always make sure to say, oh, this is this person's that this is this person's trick, you know, make sure because if there's someone that copies my shit, I want to at least make sure that they copy that they copy the idea of crediting, they copy the idea of realizing that magic is not just something that came out of fucking thin air. Somebody thought they sat down, they fucking took time to come up with these methods and that person needs to have credit. That's, that's my opinion on it. So for somebody to say, hey, uh, you fucking uh, don't credit. Let me, read, you know, let me fucking read one of these comments here. That's just fucking stupid. These motherfuckers that don't fucking realize shit. Again, I understand my style is not for everyone, but fuck that shit, motherfucker. If you're going to fucking call me out for something, don't call me out for fucking not crediting, cunt. But yeah, we talked it out, me and Eduardo. He's a fucking phenomenal kid. I, I really enjoyed that little... We had just a little bit of a chat. Great kid. Great fucking kid. But I, I just... One of the things that I'm a big fan of is free speech, man. You could say whatever the fuck you want. If somebody's gonna, you know, fucking make a negative comment, fucking say it, but make sure that it makes fucking sense. Make sure that it's great, which is why I appreciate the shit out of his video because his video, he makes a perfectly logical, logical argument as to his style videos and he makes a perfectly logical fucking argument, which I fucking love. I love that shit. But, you know, fuck. Let me, let me see if I can find one of these. Uh, fucking. Let me see if I can find one of these cunt comments. Uh, let me see if I can find one of these. Quality, quality fucking uh, entertainment here. Uh, let me see some shit. Unshuffled. Somebody said something about unshuffled. Yeah, that's a dope fucking trick. Paul Gertner is a fucking beast. He is a fucking animal. Him to do that but yeah here's a video i fucking love this video uh but yeah there's a guy here that left some stupid comment that fucking wrecked my that was stupid uh, yeah there's a lot of comments here that are like yeah I, i'd rather cut my eyes and watch his channels so that's fine whatever i don't give a fuck but uh when you actually make an accusation like that that you're saying oh yeah you don't i don't credit i don't fucking care about magic fuck that motherfucker i don't fucking if there's someone that's fucking caring about magic is me Fucking cunt. Let me see. I'm trying to find it here. Um, let me fucking see the shit. Let me see the shit. Of course, now is the hardest fucking time to find it. There is motherfucker. And of course, he hasn't responded to me. Cunt. Let me see. Wow, did he delete the comment? Yeah, okay, now I can't even fucking find it. But the guy was pretty much saying that I don't credit, I don't respect magic. I oh, right here. Respect magic is a skill. Performance is an art. I think that concept is lost on Pig Cake. I wouldn't give Pig Cake the time of the day. It's a waste of your time and breath. Uh, Pig Cake doesn't credit any creators or much less has respect for the material that he reveals. To him, it's all comedy. Bag of, bag of lime, if you're on here, fuck you. And I hope you get on here so I could fucking properly have a goddamn rebuttal to your shit here that you didn't even respond to me motherfucker the fact that you're saying that magic is for me to reveal look at the words you're using you're saying fucking reveal dude you gotta be fucking kidding me listen you can have whatever opinion on my channel you want i don't care again that's my thing on free speech you could care whatever it is that you want uh, it's fine. That's, I welcome that. I welcome people having different opinions. I welcome people having different interpretations of magic and all that shit. But when you fucking come up on a public forum and you fucking say that I don't have respect for magic, I don't credit any creator or have respect for the material that I reveal 
Not that I'm teaching, that I reveal. Fuck you, you fucking cunt. And I'm not saying that as a fucking joke. I mean that. That's a fucking... That's not a meme. You are a cunt for fucking saying that shit. Stupid. If there's anyone that respects magic the most, it's fucking me. I've been doing this shit for 16 years. Again, I haven't had an opportunity of doing it professionally, but I've performed, you know, plenty. And it's a fucking art form to me. It's something I've spent pretty much most of my fucking life doing, coming up with methods, coming up with tricks, having, you know, all these ideas, having the opportunity, the fucking opportunity to make videos on YouTube so people could learn these methods, could hopefully adapt them, could hopefully make them better. And this motherfucker says I don't credit. If you were trolling, you did a good fucking job at trolling because you got me fucking pissed, motherfucker. So, you know, a comment like that kind of pissed me off. But, uh, uh, you know, the rest of it, I fucking loved. I fucking loved the rest of that shit. But still, motherfucker, whoever you are, a bag of lime, you're a cunt. You are a fucking cunt. And I hope you're on this shit so you hear me calling you a cunt. Let me read these comments during this fucking uh, rant that I just had. It just fucking pisses me off. These motherfuckers says something without even fucking knowing, dude. Are you fucking serious? I, dude, I understand more than anyone that magic is just not something that comes from the goddamn sky. I know that there are people that, you know, they're fucking work their fucking butts off coming up with these goddamn methods. And I want to make sure they get credited, especially if I'm using their method. So you could suck my dick with that. So let me see uh, some shit. Let me see some of these. It must be Eminem's left nutsack. That's funny. I'm buying Persistence of Memory on Monday. I'm hype. Yo, be hype, dog. Don't be hype too hype. If you're too hype, you might be disappointed. But it is. Uh, I've read that to me, blanket. That's bullshit. Bag of lime. Yeah, yeah, dude. You know what? If you're going to have an opinion, make sure that it's one that makes fucking sense. Todor gave a great opinion. He had an opinion that made fucking all the sense in the world. Great. It's a fucking great on that re uh, response video. If you fucking get the chance of seeing it, check it out. Uh, I mean, just Google uh, reaction pig cake, whatever. Uh, but he made a great fucking logical statement that makes sense. Uh, this other guy that fucking left that comment, fuck that shit, dude. The fuck is that? That's not fucking... If you're going to make an argument, make sure that it comes from a place of fucking like logic and fact, cunt. Um... I don't know who Mr. Beast is. Somebody says opinion on Mr. Beast. Uh, let's see. Why don't Mexicans barbecue? Why don't Mexicans barbecue, dog? I, I, uh, what? I don't know what, is that? I feel like this is gonna end in some sort of Jew joke and it's gonna put me off. Another shit that got me a little bit triggered not as much triggered, but a little bit triggered. The last video that I put up, the pig alert, YouTube flagged that as not fucking advertiser friendly because I made one comment in reference to a group of people that killed another magician because he was performing magic. <clears throat> Motherfuckers, YouTube. That got me a little bit upset. A little bit, but not too upset. It just got me a little bit upset. So, motherfuckers. That was just an interesting thing on that last video. But that's fucking nuts. They killed this guy for fucking essentially performing magic tricks. That's fucking nuts. Beans keep falling through the grill. God damn it. <coughs> Motherfucker with a joke. Let me see. Uh, I'm 15. You've been doing magic longer than I've existed. You literally started as soon as my father came inside of my mother. A little bit before that, Aaron. I started just a little bit before your, your father decided to ejaculate. And erupt inside of your mother. Sorry for the uh, descriptive narrative. Uh, sperm shift. That's funny. Your crediting is as good as anyone except Jason England. I'm not saying my crediting is the best. But I'm saying that at least I make an attempt to see who it is that the original person that came up with the method is. If it goes as far back as like an old ass Marlo Burke or if it's... um. Expert card technique, which is where I get, you know, a lot of my ideas and shit. <coughs> I'll make sure to fucking credit. If it's someone recent, you know, I'll make sure to fucking mention that it's them. Tell you where you could get their product, you know. Tell what product that is, you know. If it's fucking, um, um, you know, I, I, tr I understand that math magic is just something that didn't come from the goddamn sky. Uh, I have a KFC. F How could I send it to you? My God. Well, I think I already mentioned in the comment that you said, uh, Jake Magic Man. That uh, that particular trick 
is it's already a card at number. So I don't understand why you would go through a little bit more complications just to add something else, just to add any card at any number. Because if I can recall correctly from that trick, you're doing the Gemini Twins. You're doing the Gemini Twins, uh, but at, you're ending it with a card at any number that you've predicted in advance. The, I think the point of me putting that video was that there isn't a lot of work on it. Uh, that it's not a, a trick that's hard to do. It's self-working. You do it, you know, you just do it. For you to do something else to it kind of defeats the point of the trick, uh, Jake Magic Man. So if you're adding an, a card at any number to it, or no, if you're adding an additional step, like you're having to go through the deck or do something, I don't see the point of that. But uh, the point of that trick is that it's a self-working way of predicting two cards and another card that, you know, they didn't even think you were going to predict. And it's all self-working. Uh, so there's no need to add like an additional that they name any card and that's the card that ends up at that number. I don't think that there's a, a need for that element. There's actually not even a need for the kicker. There's not even a need for that. Uh, but I just thought that, you know, it's a fucking great idea that these two things together uh, put that specific card at that specific number. Uh, if, uh, wedge, uh, Jake, there you go. Uh, I love your humor and your dedication to the art form. You should know that I have been with you since the beginning of the rise of pick Thank you, dog. Uh, I appreciate that. I really, really do. I really didn't think that it would, you know, the channel would grow to now it's 26,000 fucking subs. That's nuts. It's not 26,000 people watching, but you know, it's still, uh, the fact that that number is there. It's fucking crazy to me. Uh, let me see. Thoughts on bullshit Instagram magicians. I don't think it's bullshit. I don't think it's bullshit. I think that uh, Instagram is another platform just like YouTube, just like books, just like DVDs, just like VHS. It's another platform that people have kind of discovered to show tricks in a different way. Uh, I On the live stream that I did with Xavier, he kind of got into a trigger. I'm pretty sure the person's here beats if you're here. Uh, he got into a little bit of, a, of an argument with him saying that it doesn't... You know, just because you're using tricks or uh, trickery, because uh, I've seen a lot of Instagram tricks use like visual effects. And I think that you're creating a, for the platform, it's fine. Uh, you're, you're creating an effect. The effect is what's being presented to you. So uh, I saw something on, there was a Captain Disillusion video that was talking about uh, Psy who's the guy that did the whole shit on uh, America's Got Talent, saying that they intentionally manipulated the video to help out with the method, the, um, the matrix. But on his Instagram, he also has a lot of things like he'll fucking wave his hand over the ace like this, and it fucking disappears. You can't do that. There's no fucking way to do that unless it's trickery. I think that that's fine. I think that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that you're, you're creating an effect, uh, whether you're using technical means, like I... For example, I'm back palming the card, whether that's a technical meme or a meme to do it or a visual meme like uh, graphic effects, you're creating a, an effect and the effect is a card vanishing. So whatever means you need to do that, do it. That's that, that was my opinion on that. So Instagram magic, I like it when it's done well. Um, what I don't like on Instagram is um, I, I, I don't like the fact that it's like if there's like a low quality thing, I don't like that. I might be a snob for that, but, you know, put, put a little bit of effort on the lighting on that motherfucker. Uh, let me see the other comments. Uh, hey, sexy girls online. Is that a fucking spit? Did I just get a bot on this motherfucker? Did I just get a fucking bot on this cunt-ass chat here? Motherfucker. Are you attending New York Magic Expo? I don't think so. It really depends. Um, it really, really depends. I, I wanted to see if I could go to the convention in Orlando. Uh, I want to see if I could go to that one. Uh, New York, I might go. Depends on the time frame. But uh, depends. I'm, I'm really... It depends on the schedule. I'd love to go. I would fucking love to go. Uh, I've actually never been to a convention. I hear they're cancer. But, but it'd be great to see it up front. I mean, cancer is in a good way. I mean, like, you know, a bunch of magicians uh, showing shit. But uh, let me see... Uh, can you teach a trick which will hopefully fool a magician? I don't know a lot of tricks that fool magicians. I really don't. Uh, I mean, the methods that I use are very, very simple. They're not anything too complicated. They're not uh, anything that's, you know, beyond the scope of somebody that's been around in magic at least two, three years. Uh, so that's, I, li I like using those, those simple methods. Uh, I think Jay Sankey gets that criticism a lot, 
saying that, you know, his magic is just for fucking lay people. It's not, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, you know, I, I like simple methods. I, one of the magicians that I love the most that I've, you know, started uh, really getting into recently is uh, John Kerry. John fucking Kerry. He has the fucking simplest methods to do fucking tricks. You know, he's not going to, he's going to cut all the corners. I don't know if that's the right terminology, but he's going to do whatever it is that he needs to do to get the effect as easy as possible. So uh, I, I don't think that I would need to, uh, you know, I don't need to know any tricks that fool magicians per se. Uh, let me see some other shit. Uh, why do you, Xavier and Ramsey at all? <laughs> I like the at all. Very uh, academic. Uh, look at subs that your viewers have. From our standpoint, I personally, I, I want to say that I don't necessarily care that much about other subs. What I care about is quality. If you are a channel that has quality, I don't, it, you know, you could have two subs and fucking like Michael Moore has like 2000 subs, I think, or some shit. There's, there's all these famous fucking magicians that are phenomenal that have all these great quality stuff that even their videos are great quality and they don't have a lot of subs. So I don't necessarily look at sub count. Uh, like if you're someone that has a good, uh, like if you're good at magic, if you care, if it's clear that you care about magic, I don't look at subs. I really don't. Um, you know, it, it just depends on, on how you choose to present that. Uh, if you are, for example, if you're saying, hey, dude, let's do a collab. And then the video that I see is the lights off. And then it's like a 1080p or no, not a 1080p, like a 140p camera. And this is the video like it's done from this angle. And your pass is like where it's clear that, you know, you haven't spent the time to practice the slides and all the moves like ah, see that I don't like. But, you know, I, if I, I just don't. I'm not going to judge you based on your sub count. That's, that's, I don't understand where you got that uh, meat blanket. I understand where you got that. Thoughts on Magic Stream? I think it's a really good idea. Um, you know, it's, it's a great idea to have a, a Netflix for Magic. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I've already said multiple times, the only thing I do think that is going to happen to it is that the quality of the stuff is going to go way down. So you're going to have a lot of stuff there just for the sake of it. Uh, on Magic Stream, but you're not going to have stuff there that's quality. You're going to have very few things that are of quality and a lot more things that are like subpar. Uh, that's what I think about Magic Stream. Again, I don't have it, um, but I do know that Illusionist does have a good, you know, it does have a good archive of tapes. Like, you know, their old stuff is fucking good, at least to me. Uh, some people might not like it, but I just think that their quality is going to go way down just to meet the demands of uh, the platform. If that answers your question. Uh, can I do Asher Twist? Yes. But I'm not gonna do it here. <laughs> I don't wanna accidentally, because this is an awful angle. Like this angle, you'll see everything. So I don't necessarily wanna flash it even though it's been exposed to death. Uh, Cause that's not mine, that's Asher, Lee Asher. Um, do you create all the, teach all the tricks you teach? I don't know. Uh, a lot of the tricks obviously are variations that I've you know, come up with to suit my own needs. Um, you know, I, I try to be as simple as possible with the methods. So sometimes, you know, there are a couple tricks that I've kind of come up with myself. Uh, in magic, I don't think you're ever going to come up with anything new per se. Uh, you could, you know, come up with something that's f f close to new, but uh, a lot of times you're going to be dependent on old methods and stuff that's already been out. Um, so, you know, I try to come up with just variations on stuff. I try to come up with things that suit my needs. Uh, one thing that I used to do a long time ago when I was younger and, uh, couldn't afford any sort of like magic videos is I'd actually just read the description of the trick. And I just wonder in my head how it is that uh, I would do that. So uh, the descriptions that I love the most were like LNL Publishing, because uh, they'd have every trick in the DVD outlined, and uh, they just say the effect. They just say, "Oh, this trick, you know, he takes a card to the top, and then the card switch." And I'd come up with different methods of doing that. Uh, that's when I was really, really young, um, and you know, didn't buy the stuff. Just, uh, just would come up with methods that way. So I just find that fucking you know, interesting as shit. Hey, Russian genius. It's 2 a.m. Go to sleep. That's funny. 6.30 here in uh, America time. Uh, so yeah, 52 pickup. I, I hope that answers your question. Uh, third favorite magic trick. So first is back in time. Uh, second is Aiken. And then third is out of this world. So out of this world is the third favorite magic trick. Uh, Agilos or Aglos Skepanakis. That answers your question, I hope. 
Uh, are you going to teach any corn tricks? I have a couple on the channel already. Uh, I do want to teach a, like more, a retention vantage, uh, probably coming up. Um, just a couple touches on the retention vanish. But, uh, I mean, I do have a lot of coin tricks that I really haven't taught. I just kept a lot of those to myself uh, because they're nothing new. It's not really anything uh, super new. Um, you know, there's a coin routine that I have that's like a whole full-fledged like little act. But, again, I don't think that's that will work well on YouTube. I don't think that worked well on YouTube at all. It's more of an in-person thing because it relies on this uh, Homer Lee Wag idea of leaving coins on the table. So, you know, you produce this coin and you put it on the table as you misdirect with this hand and then the other coins on the table, supposedly. It uses a lot of those uh, ideas, but those aren't mine. So I really don't want to teach it because uh, it's, you know, not my shit. Uh, let me see some other shit. Somebody said hashtag David Blaine. That's fucking weird. Uh, midnight for you, a fucking time, fucking magical time here. I see. Say something about Jeremy Griffith's card handling skills. I'm not sure if I know Jeremy Griffiths. I know Jerry Griffiths. I don't know Jeremy uh, Griffiths or Griffiths. Uh, Julian Dane. I don't know who that is. Uh, unless he's that really cringy guy that I've seen a couple videos of. Uh, Julius Dean or Dane or whatever the fuck you pronounce it. Unless he's this really fucking cringy guy. Uh, I don't know who he is. Uh, say something about sperm, please. Uh, it's gooey. It might be the gayest thing I've ever said about sperm. Um, but okay, dude. <laughs> oh, fucking weird. Uh, let me see some other shit. Lithuanian genius was already used. That's funny. Mm. Let me see some other comments here. Can you watch the trailer for Tactics by JT Chatatalis? Let me check it out. Uh, what is it called? It's called Tactics. All right, Tactics. I, I think I already saw this. I think I already saw this somewhere. Let me see. Okay, nice, edgy, good color, uh, good uh, saturation. Okay, Tic Tac shit. Yeah, it looks dope. Hi guys, my name is JP Halatis and this is... <laughs> oh shit, I pronounced his name fucking way wrong. Uh, that could either be great or shit. Judging by his hand position over here, it's probably shit. Um, yeah, it looks, it looks good visually. I mean, it's great like Instagram stuff, but uh, I don't know how to work in person. I mean, he's doing a trick here where he's doing it for a person, um, but I don't know if it's a, uh, I don't know if it's just a good method, but this is just based on the demo video. I really can't tell you much because I don't know the method, but... It something looks off to me. Something looks very fishy. So that like it looks good on camera, but it doesn't look in person. I don't know. Uh, but it doesn't look super. There's just something about it that looks off. Uh, can can I suck your left nut and I'll follow your Insta? That's fucking weird, dude. Uh, Jeremy Griffith is the guy who made the ripping. Let me check that out. The ripping, Jeremy Griffith. <laughs> Let's check this shit out. Uh, the ripping anti pharaoh. Oh shit! Oh, it's the guy that rips it, right? That he just fucking f just holds the deck and just squeezes those motherfuckers out. God, that looks impossible. Fuck that guy. Not for being shit, for being good. Fuck. This can be done with older decks. That's fucking weird, dude. Yeah, that looks fucking nuts. Holy shit. Yeah, that's fucking nuts, dude. Uh, let me see this. Uh, uh, let me see these comments. I just saw the defenders. It was good. Uh, do a magic trick that fool us all. I already said that I don't like tricks, or I don't. I don't think I know any tricks that are necessarily fooling of magicians. Uh, can you talk about that diagonal palm shift? I don't know enough about it to give a good opinion on it. Like, I can't do it that well enough so I could talk about it. Like, I'm not going to talk about a move that I'm shit at. Uh, I could do the move, but it looks like shit. Uh, so, yeah, I, I can't uh, necessarily do that. Uh, not... Desde España. 
after taking 12 years of fucking Spanish classes from only people from Spain, that uh, the way of pronouncing that, that the, the, the F in Spanish wrecks me every time. Uh, so who, are, who is that? Naya Rita Nakit. Yeah, there you go. That shit. After tr uh, tr any sort of mention of Spain and it triggers my 12 years of taking fucking Spanish classes. Are you from Spain? Kendrick, massive attack. I'm not going to speak Spanish. That's, that's awkward. Uh, let's see. That's funny. Hey, yeah, look at that. I got, I'm always surprised at the amount of uh, the, the variation of people that watch my shit. People from Spain, Russia, fucking Australia, New Zealand motherfuckers, South American motherfuckers, Mexican motherfuckers, uh, American motherfuckers. I'm always surprised at the, uh, the fucking variety of motherfuckers watching my shit. So I just find that very fucking interesting. Uh, let me see some other shit. I'm from Jordan. Fuck, that's nuts, dude. Fuck, man. India, yeah, shit. People from fucking everywhere watching my shit. That's fucking nuts. Romania, motherfuckers. Greece. Uh, you just typed A a lot of times. I don't think that's a country. I don't think that's a country, dude. A, 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 a. That's not a... F the fuck is that? This guy had a seizure on his goddamn keyboard. Motherfucker, yes. I'm saying you, you fuck your mother. This guy, I'm not going to repeat that in Spanish. My Spanish is shit. Uh, Jordan, damn, dude, yeah, fucking nuts, dude, everyone, fuck, I'm in Jordan, Jordan Sparks, that's funny, is she not, like, that fat singer, wasn't she that fat, that thick singer, she wasn't necessarily fat, she was thick, just call me a puto, motherfucker, uh, yeah, that's nuts, dude, I'm all surprised at the, uh, variety of different fucking people that watch my shit, uh, that's fucking nuts, dude, that is fucking nuts, let me see. She's lost weight. She's hot now. Let me check her out. Jordan Sparks. Let's see. She's hot. Jordan Sparks. I know she looked like Nia Jax back in the day. That's a hit a like if you know who Nia fucking Jax is. Uh, let's see. Hey, yeah, dude. She's fucking hot. Holy shit. She's thick. I mean, she's still got a little bit, but that's still, that's good. That fucking good, dog. Me blanket. You, you fucking... If there's anything that's more indicative of your name, of being meat blanket, uh, I don't know what that means, but whatever. We'll just go with it. Uh, let's see some other stuff here. Let me look through this. I know my shit. That's fine. Let me go through these old and see. I see uh, Russian genius is hustling here. What's going on? I read that. Oh, you're talking about Russian? Actual Russian? Uh, you call me a fucking... Uh, a clown, fucking Kendrick calling me a puto clown. I'm not gonna say that with the Spanish accent. So you don't, uh, oh, you're from El Salvador, fuck. David Q. <laughs> How could you tell someone, there's some Syrian people watching my shit. Who's that guy that's always telling me to put on a suit? That guy's from Syria, I think. Yeah, there's some motherfuckers. That's, that's. Uh, let me look through these old ones. Russian genius stuff. A. Eh? Vladimir Putin. Your fucking bunny kills me, man. Uh, I just did. I, John Cena with a fucking S. I already looked at uh, tactics. I already looked it up. Uh, I said it looks fishy. There's something about it that's kind of off. Um, you know, I don't know if that's just me, but it just looks like it looks... If they're trying to sell it to do to people, I don't know. There might be something off there. If it's like impromptu, you know, if it's something like that, yeah, that's dope. Uh, Kendrick, massive attack. Yeah, but the thing is that I've heard like people from Spain, when, they, when you guys are like talking fast in Spanish, it's just fucking nuts. It sounds, it doesn't sound like Spanish. Again, that's just me because the Spanish that I hear around me uh, is like the trashiest Spanish ever. But just whenever I hear, like, two Spaniards talking to each other, it's fucking nuts. It's like I don't even understand it. I like that you do not pronounce Spanish. In order, to, I know what you speak Spanish. Talk the fuck out of here. Uh, so, yeah. Sorry, I went off stream. There you go. Like, fucking... I answered your question, dog. John Cena. I can't... I don't even know how I could see you. You didn't spell that correctly. No. Uh, there's no fucking H there. <laughs> Come on. That shit. Pick cake. Are you non-binary? 
yeah, yeah, I'm non-binary. I'm actually a cis white male. So I'm already at the worst spectrum of fucking people and humanity. Being a cis fuck. I think it's stupid, dude. Uh, what are your thoughts on a terror attack in Barcelona the other night? The other night being yesterday. It's fucking stupid. It's an unnecessary loss of life. At the end of the day, we're all fucking human. And the fact that there are people doing this to each other is fucking retarded. You know, it's, it's stupid. It's unnecessary. If 18 people died, you know, for what? 18 people that were shopping, 18 people that were living their life, that were being human, that had the same struggles as everybody else. And, you know, they died unnecessarily just because somebody disagreed. Like, get the fuck out of here. It's, it's stupid. It's an unnecessary loss of life. That's what I think it is. But, you know, fuck. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to deal with it. And, yeah, every other word <laughs> that comes out of my mouth is fucking. You know what I realized? If you uh, stop and count how many times somebody says the word like, it's fucking nuts. <laughs> it's, it's, it's nuts. Some, everyone says like. I don't know if I say it a lot. Uh, I don't catch myself saying it a lot, but people say like way too fucking much. Hey, Peter just pledged one hot dollar. Thank you, Peter, on Patreon. You being a hot patron. I hope you enjoy the effects there. There's some good quality shit. Not to shill my own shit, but uh, thank you. Uh, have you seen Shin Lim's Eye Clear? Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, I don't like that sort of stuff. Uh, what's BF Skinner's theory? Are you testing me on my psychology knowledge now, you cunt? B.F. Skinner, if I remember correctly, is an operant psychologist. Test me if I'm, if I'm wrong. I might be wrong. Uh, it's, he's an operant psychologist, right? Meaning that he is one that is a fan of consequence and, um, and uh, punishment and reinforcement. If I, if I could recall, if I could go back to getting raped in the butt in a college. Am I right, David Q.? You don't use like, but you use fuck fucking much. Fuck is crazy. Hey, I'm correct. There you go, dog. Still got it. I still got it. BF Skinner was dope. I remember teaching that. She was hot. Uh, do I weigh a lot, Kendrick? I don't weigh a lot. No, I don't. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly proportionate uh, to my height and or body ratio. Let me, uh, let me go through these. I dare you not to say like for the rest of the stream. I just did, so I just fucked it up. Pig branding. Somebody says, uh, did, did I make my logo? No, I didn't make my logo. Uh, there's a guy that's fucking amazing. Uh, graphic design. That's a friend of mine that made the logo. He's fucking nuts. He made the piggy logo. He made the shirt. Um, fuck. I wish I had that talent. Um, pimp cake, that's funny. Let me see. Uh, what is your favorite Aiken effect of all time? Uh, not to be fucking coy here, but uh, I I do like the. Are you are you seriously wearing my shirt right now? That's fucking hot. Put an Imgur link, cunt. I want to see you wearing my my fucking shirt. Um, but wait, somebody said something here. My favorite Aiken effect. Uh, I've already mentioned it. I love the Barry Richardson method. I think his method might be the best. Um, anytime, anywhere. Uh, I really like, again, touting my own horn here. I like the one that I'm selling, and I like the one that, I'm t that I taught in the channel. That's this one. I, I really like that method, as in any card, any number. Uh, uh, Paul, uh, Paul Wilson's Yamfukan is another really good one. Uh, I bought the download for Yamfukan a while ago. Uh, when he had it, I forgot through who. Uh, it's a great method. You're counting the cards this way. Uh, it's a great, subtle method. Uh, Andrew Gerard has a... F f I hate myself. I fucking hate myself. He has a, uh, cause I have, he teaches something very similar to something that I had in one of my notebooks from a long time ago. Um, about, I don't want to say the method. I don't want to say the method, but it's on his latest vault download, uh, on Hoy, uh, on, uh, David Hoy. Fuck. Cause I, I have, uh, something similar. I put it on Patreon. My idea that I put in a notebook, uh, that I had, you know, uh, the idea of from a long time ago, I put that on Patreon, but he has an any card at any number there. That's so good. That I, I'm killing myself for not thinking about uh, that method. But it's so fucking good. Uh, it is hands-on. You know, you are, you do have to do something. But just the way he does it. So check that out if you haven't already. Andrew Gerard's uh, on Hoy. Fuck. I hate myself for not fucking have thought of that. Yours is awesome. 
Hey, yeah, Doc. Thank you, man. I really, I really appreciate it. Uh, I again, that method has been something that I've sat on forever. I love the method. I love the idea of having a spectator, you know, deal the cards in their own hand. I love that. Uh, a lot of people would see. I don't want to say the method, obviously, because you know that's a fucking method. But uh, a lot of people see a downside to the method. I think I think of it as a plus. I think that it adds further to the conversation and making it less of a trick, more of a moment, uh, like one of these like actual moments that you could actually talk with about the uh, spectator. Uh, so, ouch! Thank you. Let me see. Stop swearing because there's kids watching, you gay asshole. That's funny. Thank you. I'm glad you're telling me to stop fucking swearing, but you have gay asshole there in black and white racist. <laughs> uh, let me see. <laughs> that's, that's really funny. Uh, right pig cake. So what do I do? Do I buy your latest? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's what I was kind of answering. I wanted to answer. I think I did answer in the comments. Uh, Aaron Feldman. So you're getting two different things uh, depending on what you get. I should have like a little package deal where you buy one and you get the other for like, or if you buy them together, you get like a discount. I should do that. I'll, if I figure out how to do that, I'll do it. But uh, as far as what you're getting for persistence of memory, you're getting a routine, a three trick routine, right? Each trick could be its own routine. That's what you're getting, uh, which is why I charged it 15 as opposed to 10. Um, so it's three individual tricks. They each stand up on their own. The any card to any number there, it's different. It's very, very different to the any card to any number that I am selling. They're very different. Um, it's pretty much a combination of old ideas. I, what I like the most about it is the, the kind of the attention to the presentation. So the any card, any number has a purpose and that's to give the power to the spectator. The beginning trick has a purpose in that it's, you know, I don't want to say much more about it because then that kind of defeats the point, but it's a reason, there's a reasoning why you're doing a trick. That's what I like about the persistence of memory. The any card, any number, it's just a, any card, any number, just getting that one trick. It's a very hands-off method. Um, and that's, you know, it's, it's really up to you to what you want. Um, uh, honestly, I would probably, uh, if, if I were somebody else looking from the outside in, I'd probably lean more towards the any card to any number, not only because it's cheaper, but because I'm obsessed with any cards to any number, or, you know, so I would probably still be weird, weird, uh, but I would probably lean more towards the any card to any number, just because that to me is more interesting. But the, the persistence of memory, you know, not to sell it short, it's, I, I fucking adore that routine. I fucking love that routine. Um, so there you go. I mean, I hope that answers your question. I'd buy it for both for 20 altogether. Yeah, I'd probably end up doing that. I'd probably end up uh, doing like a little bit of a package deal, uh, for 20 to, to get both, not for 20, like, you know, uh, marijuana. I'm talking about, um, uh, that why am I sucking Alex Pandrea's dick using these cards? Because, uh, I love minimal cards. I already said this Kendrick. I like, um, I like the design. I like the fact that they're cheap. They're very fairly priced. Uh, the only thing that wasn't fairly priced was shipping. Ugh. But uh, the, the cards themselves are a great value. So that's why I'm using these. That baraja. It's a baraja. Uh, your laugh sounds like you're masturbating. Maybe I am masturbating. Uh, Pig cake. Top 10 ways to kill yourself. Uh, watch an Evan Arrow video. Uh, let me see this hot shit. If I buy your merch, will it make your PP bigger? It'll make your PP immense. Yes. Yo, pig cake. If I don't find your father, if you don't find your father by the end of the stream, can I legally adopt you? Uh, yeah, but does that include like the unnecessary uh, rape? Like I don't know. Are you one of those dads that would like uh, fiddle with my diddle in a in a game closet? Because if you are, then I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I did. Uh, ouch! I put a discount for. Patreon. I did. I put a discount on Patreon uh, for the Patreon people. Uh, um, you know, just because I thought it would be fair to put a discount there uh, for the persons of memory. If I am gonna do something, it's probably gonna be like a a dual thing. So if you buy them both, you get like you know you could buy them both for twenty bucks or something like that. I'll probably end up doing that. Uh, do you dabble with hypnotism? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, my career choice for a long time. Hypnotist. Career choice. Not to say that I've ever been a hypnotist, but um, 
Uh, I'm fucking super interested in hypnotism. I explained the weird videos. I really did. I explained the uh, the crypt cryptness crypticness of them. Uh, let me just see. A uh, person's a member is gonna be available fucking until I'm dead. I don't know. I mean, uh, it's gonna be available until I'm paying for that website. You know, as long as I'm paying for that fucking website that it's up on, uh, it's gonna be up. So I'm not gonna take it down. I might have like a discount at some point, uh, but you know, uh, but yeah, I already dabbled in hypnotism. Uh, uh, someone says. Hey, Biden a year, dog. Uh, I won't fiddle your diddle, but I'll tickle your pickle. That's you're fucking touching my dick, dude. That's fucking same shit. Music do you listen to? Gay music? I listen to really gay music. I uh, just joined, and I see that list on the table. Have you found your father yet? No, nah, it's unchecked. Still unchecked. Uh, if I send you decks to your P.O. box, will you open the decks on camera? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I haven't put the video up yet, but I think the next video that I'm putting up that I have is, um, is what do you call this, uh, is an uh, unboxing video. Spoiler, I unboxed this in the video. Spoilers. Um, but yeah, it's an unboxing video, the next video that I put up. So uh, yeah, I will probably end up reviewing the decks. If you do send me a deck, I will probably end up reviewing it. However, if you send me a deck, please make sure that it's not laced with anthrax. Um, that's always my fear, especially when I open this up. I'm like, please don't have anthrax. Uh, cause I, I, I don't think I'd like anthrax. I don't think I'd like anthrax. So, so if you could uh, refrain from that, I'd, I'd greatly appreciate that. That uh, there is some weird things happening here. Okay. Let me look at this shit here. Okay. So yeah, somebody asked me that. Uh, when did you learn tricks? Years ago, 16 fucking years ago. <laughs> That's when I did it. Uh, you collect casino decks? I don't collect casino decks, but I have a bunch of casino decks. So, uh, yeah. Somebody said, cunt, read it, will it work? I don't know, will what work? Uh, I lace all my packages with smallpox. Thankfully. Thankfully. I don't, uh, I already, I got that injection. I'm not an anti-vaccinator. Uh, I think I'm, I'm good for smallpox. Uh, so I, I'm pretty sure I'm immune to your smallpox, cunt. Uh, what were you teaching? Oh, uh, uh, history, history. Let me see. They will have pneumonia. Is that okay? I'm pretty sure my, my, my body could take it. My body's ready. Let me see some other stuff. Have you ever ha a wanked? Holy shit, wanked. That's a term I don't see every day. Wanked. Have I ever wanked with a fake arm? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm telling I don't think I've wanked with that. That's been in a dumpster. Um, so there you go. Next time you put the discount on Patreon first before, I actually put it first on Patreon before on YouTube, meat blanket. I put it first on, on Patreon first. Uh, then I did it. Uh, hey, yeah, I'm probably gonna shut it off in a bit, but I'll answer some more questions. Where can I go looking for hypnotism? Um, his name is Anthony Jacqueline. Is phenomenal. He has a DVD set called The Manchurian Approach, which is phenomenal in terms of combining magic with hypnotism. Uh, then there is the old books by, fuck, he's like some fat dude. He made books on psychology. He also made books on hypnotism. I forgot what his name is now. Uh, I have the thick ass book somewhere. I'm not going to you know, go about looking for it now. Uh, but his book is fucking great. Oh, fuck, the name's going to kill me now. If somebody knows it. It's the standard, you know, hypnotism book that everyone looks at. Um, so, yeah, uh, if I remember the name, I'll put it on, you know, tweet it or something, but... Uh, I forgot what his name is. Let me see. Do you like gay, transsexual, midget, Nazi porn? I try not to watch uh, Nazi porn. Not 13 Steps. It's not 13 Steps. It's a book on hypnotism. Just hypnotism by itself. Uh, it's made by a guy who's made uh, a lot of videos on psychology and other stuff. But he had one fat book on hypnotism. 
you know, it's like the, the cl classic textbook on it. I forgot what his fucking name is. Uh, let me see. Do you know how to say to fap in Spanish? God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking put myself, isn't it pajar? Isn't that what it is? I said, I said la paja. Isn't that what it is in Spanish, dude? Fuck. Putting myself out there. Uh, the pig cake, the video's up. KFC revamp. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'll check, you know, I'll check it out right now. Here live, dude. Give you some hot feedback. Uh, YouTube, let me go to YouTube here. Uh, let me go to pig cake, KFC, pig cake. You just fucking reminded me how fucking hungry I am right now. So I'm probably gonna get some hot KFC. Uh, pig cake, KFC. Search instead for pig cake. I'm surprised that uh, um, Evan Arrow didn't come up first. I don't see it here. Funny enough, Forgasm by Kevin Ho comes up. What's it called? It says uh, KFC revamp magic. Okay, let me copy and paste that because I just looked up pig cake KFC and nothing came up. So let me see. Pig cake yeah, KFC. Uh, I don't see it here, dog. I see a lot of pig cake stuff, which is always phenomenal. Cause I, if anything, it's like it's like master watching my own videos is like masturbating. So I don't see the name here. Uh, yeah, you gotta put it on public. Let me see somebody. Do you ever perform for magic on the street? No, no, I'm not a fan of approaching people that don't want to be approached and showing them something. Uh, I'm thinking of sending you the David Blaine White Lion series. Even though I would love that because they're a hot deck of cards. And uh, from what I've heard, uh, you know, everything that David Blaine comes out with is gold. Uh, that'd be, come on, man. No, I, that's like a real thing. That's like, hey, man, I'm sending you money. Like, don't do that. Send me a, you know, if you're going to send me something, make it like a joke or something. Don't fucking like send me a shitty deck of German cards. Don't send me like a fucking legit nice deck. Like, fuck, I, I don't know how I handle that, dude. Uh, Knight's deck is alright. Knight's is alright because it's that minimal thing. You know, you have both uh, uh, knives and the thing. I'll send you white lines and one card is ripped in half. There you go. See that? That I'll feel more comfortable taking. See, like a meme. Yeah. I'll just feel bad taking a deck, dude. Uh, and yes, Aaron, you could you could DM me uh, on Twitter. Let's see. I'm not going to read that, Kendrick. Uh, let me see. Gil Boyne? No, it's not Gil Boyne. The, uh, hypnotism. Let me look up hypnotism. Hip, and I'll tell you right now the other book. I can't believe, uh, cause I, I remember reading his stuff and it was fucking phenomenal. Uh, hypnosis text book. Let me see. I'll tell you right now. Uh, what his name is. I'll tell you right now what his name is. He's like some fat dude. He looked like, uh, like fucking... The Colonel from KFC, believe it or not. He made a bunch of hypnosis books. He made a bunch of psychology books. Uh, fuck. Let me see. Fuck. This is going to drive me crazy. It's like Guide to Hypnosis. Guide to... Let me see. Fuck. Yeah, I totally forgot this fucking guy's name now. Uh, uh, you know, I'll, put, I'll have to look that up later because now I feel like it's, I'm going to take too much time looking that. Uh, are you going to be doing another live stream? Yeah, I usually do them on Fridays at 12. Or no, Fridays at uh, 2 or 3. Today I did a little bit late because um, I just did. Uh, but usually I, I keep live streams till um, I keep them to Fridays. You know, just as like an overview of the shit that I've put up in the past week. Uh, somebody sent me some here on Discord. Let me see this. Uh, you're going to give me a shitty deck of Spanish cards. Funny enough, I actually have a deck right here. Let me see if I... I think they're on the top of the stack here. That are shitty Spanish fucking cards. Let me see if I can find them. Hey, right here. Knifest. I got these for like a hot dollar. These are fucking AIDS, dude. These are fucking AIDS. These. Holy shit, dude. 
What a fucking joke these are. What a fucking... Look at this shit, dude. They're like these cards that have like fucking dill pickles on them or some shit. Fuck that. They're like longer than normal cards. They also are made out of like a cardboard that I'm sure was assembled by a fucking, you know, the two-year-old Chinese girl. It's for sure assembled by her in haste. Oh, man, that's a fucking awful sound. Those are Indian or Chinese cards. These are Indian cards for sure. I mean, chi Chinese cards for sure. Made in China. They are Italian, these. They're the worst. I like them for like tarot shit. You know, but just, uh, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, these are United States playing card. Even trying to do some hot slides. Let's see if I can do a, a hot Sybil with these. Oh, shit, dude. There you go. Yeah, I'm surprised they... What the fuck are these? I'm sure it's one company in China. Again, made by a, a poor little 12-year-old that had the unfortunate uh, um, luck or, you know, unluck, whatever, for lack of a better term, of having to assemble these cards. Fuck. These are just, and then they get shipped out to everyone in the world. I got these for a dollar at the dollar store. That's how bad they are. I got these for a fucking dollar. They had like a bunch of them. And I'm just like, yo, give them, give them to me. I'll buy, I'll buy, I'll buy them, dude. Fuck. So I bought them and then I fucked them up over the years. Uh, Naples is also a city in Florida. And it's the most boring city in the fucking history of uh, anywhere. Uh, Magic on YouTube is, is I, I keep saying it's fucking dead and all that shit. Magic on YouTube is great. Uh, the reason being is that YouTube is another platform that people could, you know, show tricks, whereas before they couldn't do that. Uh, so before it was very hard to, you know, spread your magic. Now it's very easy. I would have never had, you know, a following without YouTube. I would have never had, you know, people watching my shit without YouTube. I don't even know how the fuck I would have done that. What am I going to do it on blip? TV, fuck, like, what am I gonna host it on, uh, E-Bombs World, like, no, fuck, that would never work, uh, so YouTube is just fucking great, um, the, I mean, the problem and the benefit of YouTube is that anybody could put anything, so you're gonna have a lot of stuff that's not good, uh, you're gonna have a lot of stuff that's <laughs> triggering, um, but, you know, that just goes to the free nature of the platform, which sucks, uh, Mike Hawk, your name is not Mike Hawk, ouch, there's no person whose actual name is Mike Hawk. And if it is, because uh, I've seen that meme where it's like a news report. Um, and that guy is like, oh, his name is Mike Hawk. That's funny. Uh, I love Darren Brown. I love fucking, I, I don't love fucking Darren Brown because I've never fucked Darren Brown. If I had an opportunity to have sex with Darren Brown, I would. And I'm pretty sure he'd be very good at it. Because he's gay. But uh, he's, he's another one of my heroes, uh, Darren Brown. I fucking love him. I love his thoughts on magic. I love the way he approached mentalism. I love the fact that he's um, a competent cardition. Uh, that, you know, when he wants to, he could drop some hot card stuff. Uh, you know, if he wanted to. I, I bought his most recent book, uh, which is, it's geared more towards lay people, but he still has so much good advice in that book. Um, he breaks down a key card trick on that book, and it's fuck. Tricks of the mind. I think that's what he, he called it. Even that book that's like meant for lay people is fucking gold. So I love Darren Brown. Uh, they look more like Syrian cards. That's fucked. Ever trade, uh, tried Waddington playing cards? No. Thank God. Uh, they just sound awful. Uh, such a gypsy. You calling me a gypsy, dude? The fuck are you calling me a gypsy? You know, actually, uh, fun enough from the uh, f Spanish friends that I have or have had in my life, the gypsy is like a big fucking. It's like the nigger word for them. Like if I if for correct me if I'm wrong, but Spanish people hate gypsies. <laughs> is that is that like a stereotype or is that um? If you can answer me that, Kendrick, or anybody that's from Spain. About gypsies? Is that a thing? Is that like a... They just hate gypsies. Uh, 
I really want to know. Like, I, I think that's a thing, dude. Feels like a deck got shuffled in an asshole. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. I already said my cock. Buy it, cunt. Uh, here in Romania, we have a lot of gypsies. That's funny. The video's up. Here's the link. Well, I can't check the link because it's not going to... Um... But as long as you titled it, Pig Cake Revamp KFC Trick, then I should be able to find it. Hey, found it. Fuck. Let's see. Your hot method here. Jake. First of all, I, uh, I right off the bat, I have to say I love the framing on this video. Phenomenal framing, Jake. Phenomenal framing. I love it. Because it's, it's like, here's my shoe. And there's, are you in a locker room right now? Was that in a locker room? Jake? Yeah, you're in a locker room? Dude, I feel like you're going to take your, your dick out. Let's check this trick out. Let's check this thing. Okay, okay, let's check so, it out. Shuffle, they can shuffle up the deck. To hey! The While they're shuffling the deck, name out any card, and they name... Uh, Four spades. Ah, oh, if you would have named that, I would have died. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to create a couple predictions here. Um, I just need a few. Let's see. see Storm room, okay. Grab for you. Bro, getting, getting, getting your nut in in a dorm room must be the hardest thing ever, dude. I don't know about that dorm life, uh, but I, you know, I imagine... You got a roommate always coming in. You know, your roommate's coming in. It doesn't allow you to come in, if you know what I... Uh, yeah, come in, you can... The, uh, I'll stop. Uh, let me just watch this. Let me just okay, watch yeah, this yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, uh, So here's one of them. Where do you write the review? You should, uh... You could fuck in the furniture. That's funny. Uh, you could review it, meat blanket, on the thing itself. It should give you an option to review it. I know somebody else did it uh, on their end. Um, and again, I don't want to be a dick, but I, I don't want to not put it up. You know, I don't want to censor my reviews. Illusionist. So, you know, really share your opinion. I, I really don't, don't mind. Uh, I'm not going to censor my reviews or take out the negative ones. Illusionist. So let me keep watching this. Let me keep watching this shit. And I only need one more. Okay. So let's go ahead and just pull that back. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it so far. Because you're keeping it fit up. Uh, okay. Two, three, four. Okay, good shit. Gemini stuff. Hotness. Hey. Hey. Okay. So odds again, this one would be one out of fifty-two. Is if you call the other red ace, and then the odds would be one out of fifty-two. But to get both of them, be one okay. Out of so you got the first two. Four. Sick. Now check this out. You call that four in the beginning. One, two, three, four. And then you call that six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you name one card in the very beginning. I'm going to tell you it's about hundred thousand. One out of hundred thousand. <laughs> in the beginning. Hey. King of clubs. Hey. hey. I like it, dude. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm watching your live stream right now, and I just freaking filmed this. Okay. Oh, that's funny. This is this is weird. This is Inception. You know, I already know what you're gonna say. Well, it's already stopped working. There's no need to add anything okay. else to it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Pick cake. If you're already looking yeah. at the deck, what would be the difference that you just cut it? So this little slight alteration, hey. a little okay. finger towards the trick. Is gonna now make it so you can make it an A can. The two numbers of okay. the adds it to the card that they shouted out. As opposed to prediction. In the very beginning, while they were shuffling the pack, that just adds an extra mm. Yeah. So I know you're saying it's all <laughs> I think this little adjustment makes this thing just Dope. twice as good. I'm, I'm gonna put that out there. Hey! So I've got so many great reactions. Just look at it. I like it. Yeah, just dude. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Fuck. Great. Uh, it's really, really good. And I'll tell you why. Because there's a lot less fiddling than what I thought. Um, you know, because again, my, my thing is that the original thing that I put it up was just because it was a self-working trick. Uh, 
I, you know, I put it up as kind of that prediction thing. I really like that. I really, really, really do like that because then at the end, it kind of, you know, makes sense a little bit with the ACAN. Uh, for me, it was more of that extra kicker. For you, it's kind of this thing that's coming up from the back like this. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but it's, you know, it, they're naming a card in the beginning and you don't address it until the very end. So then it hits them again um, and it makes sense. I, I dig it. I really, really do dig it, dude. That's fucking dope as shit. Hey, yeah, dude. No, I, I love that shit. Fuck. I really like that. I got to tell you. Motherfucker. Got him. Let me check um, K KFC revamp. Boom. I'm going to like that. I'm going to hit that with a like because I fucking liked it so much. Good shit, dude. Do you make, vi you, you make videos here? You make videos here, Jake? I'm looking at your shit. Oh, shit. And you got some street magic in here, dog. Oh, let's check this shit out. Now, now, I'm, on your uh, now I'm on your shit, Jake. Let's check this shit out. Okay, you got some magic comps. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you for sub. Because I like that trick so much, I hit you for sub on that. Uh, dope, dude. Fucking really good. I, I really enjoyed that, that, the way you did that. <laughs> These videos are old and cringy. Uh, you do that like in school? Like you, you try to do uh, tricks for people? Is that what you do? Like, I mean, because school is the best time to do it, especially when you're in college. Because, uh, you know, there's just so many opportunities to do stuff. Uh, yeah, so there, there you go. It's the best time. That's really, really the best time to do it. And students are dicks. Students are fuck faces. What I mean by that is that they'll catch you on something. So you, your pinky's in there. You know, you got a break. Hey, why's your pinky in there, cunt? I see your pinky, motherfucker. You know, they'll catch you out. So it, it kind of, um, it, uh, it helps you kind of, you know, learn how it is, how to do stuff based on, uh... Shit, um, let me see. Meat Blanket. Uh, Jake Magic Man. That's the name of the YouTuber. I just subscribed. If not, you can just look at my sub box and see. But yeah, school is just good. I, I just like the fact that people are dicks. Uh, so, you know, it, well, not necessarily dicks, but they'll call you out on something if something doesn't look good. So, you know, that teaches you what to do next time better, what to improve on, what you need help on. I get paid for 300 plus people shows. Damn, boy. And that college crowd is fucking hard, man. So if you could do a good show for them, you know, you could do a good show for anyone. Uh, the only thing now that's kind of nuts, man. I saw this um, sub troll like Xavier and Ramsey do. No, no, I'm subbing. Um, what was... Uh, what do you mean by sub troll? Wait, I thought I, I knew what you meant, but what do you mean by sub troll, dog? Um, but what was I going to... What was I, I was saying something. Students being dicks. Oh, yeah, okay, because uh, this, uh, I was looking at something recently, I'm not going to get political, but I was looking at something recently about uh, Evergreen College, and, uh, oh, yeah, I'll judge your shit, I will judge your shit, if you call me a cunt, like, I, on those live streams, and you're following Jake Paul, I'm, I'm calling you out, motherfucker, but no, but you, I, I generally like that performance, that was really good, especially the fact that you added a little, uh, that little touch that made it that much better, so I really, really enjoyed it, um, but, uh, what, what fuck? I was gonna say something too. Now you got me. ADD. My fucking ADD here. Oh, yeah, there's a college called Evergreen College or Everbright or Ever, Ever something. That's uh, fucking nuts, dude. These people are like, it, it was this whole racist thing, you know. So, I it's weird. I mean, when I went to college, which makes me sound old as fuck, but when I went to college, you know, I was in and out of that motherfucker. I didn't stick around, I didn't fucking. <laughs> I try to socialize, you know, I, I was like, oh, fuck that, I'm in, I do my class, and I get the fuck out of there, uh, so, you know, um, I just find those, the new college crowd to be a little bit uh, harder, you know, in terms of, uh, I don't want to say much because I don't want to get more political, but, you know. There you go. Uh, let me see. Uh, Cromulan, a.k.a. a floating head, a.k.a. Uh, show me what you've got. Basic advice is to make sure that multiple people see the card. 
multiple people see the card. Uh, so that way, if this guy decides to be a dickhead, then, uh, you, you know, he, you have four people there that saw the card that will back you up, right? So the, the point is to try to show the card to as many people as possible. Even if you're doing a peek, try to make sure that there's somebody over them that's looking at the card. This is an interesting enough action. This is a hot tip. Fuck. I don't know if I should get this. This, this is like good shit. Uh, but this is interesting. This is an interesting action, right? So you don't see this done a lot. Uh, so when you do this, this peak technique, people are paying attention. It's, na it's natural because this is not a natural action. Um, it, it's not illogical because you're having them peek at a card and how other, how other better way of a peek are you going to have this? Um, but this is going to attract attention, right? So you're going to use that attention for your own benefit. So what I mean by that, if you're doing a trick where somebody needs to peek at a card, make sure that there's somebody else within their similar eye line that they could peek at the card too. And uh, I sometimes play around with, if, you know, I would play around with mentioning to them, oh, make sure you see the card too. Sometimes I wouldn't do go as far as that. I just want to make sure that they see it. Um, so, you know, you could just look at their body language to see if they see the card themselves. Um, but you want to make sure that somebody else sees the card. If you have one person see the card and you're depending on that, you're, you're fucked. You're, I mean, they could forget the card. Uh, they can misremember the card and it's not them fucking with you. It's just them doing natural, you know, them doing something, uh, them just having not a big memory, you know, they're on the spot, they're watching a trick, especially if there's a lot of people watching them, if this is like a stage thing, you want to make sure that a lot, a lot of people uh, see the card or uh, that it's not just that one person. So let me see, uh, the worst days when you're doing models tilt as part of a trick, then do a double lift to show their card and they say that isn't their card. Again, the best thing to do is show people, show a lot of people the card, show a lot of people the card. So you want to, you know, when somebody picks it, make sure if you want to use that stupid, dumb joke, show all your friends, wait, I'm not your friend. Ha! <laughs> you know, you, whatever fucking dumb line you want to use, but uh, make sure that more than one person sees the card. Uh, that's going to avoid a lot of issues. Uh, that's happened to me so many fucking times. Uh, don't still forget the card. They'll still forget the card. If they sign the card, uh, they'll remember signing the card. They won't remember what the card is. It's like that classic uh, memory bit where you say, uh, don't look at your watch if you're wearing a watch. Uh, obviously, now this doesn't work now because fucking people have like, you know, goddamn super fucking watches. But before, you could tell somebody to cover their watch, uh, their analog watch, and try to tell you if the numbers are, uh, take a peek at it, and then cover their hand. And then... Um, you ask them if there were Roman numerals, you know, if their watch has Roman numerals, most people wouldn't be able to remember or to try to remember something specific about the watch face. Is that sort of idea, if that makes sense, that uh, they'll sign a card and they'll just remember signing it. They won't remember the card. They'll literally look through past it and then just remember signing a card. So signing it would work uh, in verifying that that is their card, but you want to make sure that a lot of people see the card. That's kind of the best advice for that. Um, you know, again, most people aren't doing it maliciously, but they'll just fucking forget the card and then you, you're shit out of luck because you could take the card out of the elephant's asshole. You know, the elephant comes through, right? And they're like, hey, uh, reach inside the elephant's asshole and pick out the card. And then they pick it out and then they go, I don't remember my card. And, you know, you would have paid an elephant. You fucked. You know, you would have done a whole bunch of shit. Uh, no, Charlie, this is about pe uh, people picking cards. Uh, you know, and having people forget about cards. So what happens when somebody forgets a card or why they forgot a card or doing a trick and then they end up saying, oh, I don't remember my card. It's because you didn't show it to enough people and uh, you didn't put emphasis on the card enough. Like if you want to make people remember that you mix the cards up, right? There's a hot tip. If you want to make people uh, have them shuffle the cards, right? They shuffle the cards, they mix it up. When they give the deck back to you, look at them and go shuffle the cards. Make a moment out of it. You know, tell them to shuffle the cards again. And then they'll remember at that point that they shuffled the cards because you made a point of it. So they'll go back in the memory and they'll be like, wait, I, I shuffled the cards. Uh, it's, you know, just creating like little memories like that. You could create false memories. You could create, um, you know, memories that you want to instill. You, it, there's a lot of sh I fucking love the amount of shit you could do by just saying certain things. Uh, so 
Is there anything worse than showing tricks to your friends and family? Yeah, I would go against that. I would, if you want to do a trick and you want to test out whether it's good or not, don't show it to your friends or family, especially if you show them a lot of tricks because, you know, they'll know your mannerisms, they'll know the way you are. So when there's something that's unnatural, they'll call you out on it. And that's just not, that's just out of knowing you. So I would go against doing tricks for your friends and family. Hey, uh, greatest trick equals failure. What? No, <laughs> subliminal, me subliminal messages may work a little bit. Uh, they might work a little bit in terms of, um, like, you know, uh, in terms of maybe influencing them, but never to the point where mentalism, mentalists say it. Like a mentalist will, oh yeah, I did my, Banachek has this wonderful routine where he has the, he's doing a classic uh, circle triangle force. And then he has this whole pattern where he's saying that his hands were doing a triangle and he was drawing it out. There, that doesn't fucking, you know, that doesn't do it. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, all that that means is that the spectator thought of two, two of the most common shapes out of all the fucking shapes. But, you know, they dress it up with all the shit. So uh, same with Darren. Uh, he has this whole thing, you know, think of a card, make the screen. Uh, I know there, there's actually one that is phenomenal. Uh, there's a one by, he's tall. I forgot his fucking name. He's bald. He looks like a fucking genie. He's amazing. I think he's from Miami too. Fuck. I've never actually seen him. Doc, Doc uh, Hilford. Uh, he has one. In uh, uh, L&L tapes that I got years and years ago. He has a, a psychological force. Uh, that one is fucking dope as shit. But that's more of a dual reality bit. He does it. He does like a mental force. Like a, he does the hand gestures and all that. Uh, but if I, I think it's more of a dual reality bit. Uh, Eugene Berger. God, or Berger. I know, he just reminded me that he's fucking gone. Jesus, we're losing all the best ones. We're losing all the fucking best... Best magicians. Motherfucker. Uh, can you mentally force the entire stream audience? That's funny. Uh, yeah, what, what am I thinking of right now? Okay, there's no loop. That's the, there's no lubrication on that. That's kind of the point. Uh, let me see some other questions. <laughs> Ugly ass deck. Yeah, I know. This is this fucking shitty deck that somebody just took me out. Um, let me go back. See if there's anything hot here. But I think I'm going to call it, dude. I think I'm going to call it a stream here. I'm going to call it a hot stream here. It's been two hours. It's been a hot two hours. I need to eat because uh, the only thing I've eaten is dick because I'm a gay magician. Um... Yeah, persistence of memory, get it. Uh, you're, you're getting some hot tricks, supporting a hot magician, um, and get it. That's that chill. Uh, ch Twitter, if you have, don't follow me already. Instagram, Jake, I'll check you out there. Uh, what else am I shilling? Patreon, make sure you could check there. Some hot stuff on that. Hot, hot stuff on uh, Patreon. Um, I'm going to keep the stream up so you could see the hotness for a little while. Uh, what else am I shilling? Am I shilling something else? No, persistence of memory. That's the main thing I'm shilling. Um, that's not true. Uh, well, he's I got, I feel like he was say, saying that as a method, but I, I don't think he's psychologically forced, uh, Simon Pegg, that whole thing. I saw the video too, but I, I just think that's dressing on, on an already mechanical method he had. So that's all I'm shilling. Uh, that's all I got to shill. You, uh, you stay hot. You, you make sure to... Not have inter intercourse with your sister. I heard that's the, something people frown upon. Um, I'm going to go figure out different ways to watch a recording of myself. Watching a recording of myself. Watching a recording of myself. Watching a recording of myself masturbate frantically to Middle Eastern ankle porn. I heard they have some hot ankle porn. I mean, it's the only porn they can have. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Yeah. Thank you, guys.